Monopoly is in jeopardy. Two American bills that worry tech giants. With increased scrutiny from regulators around the globe these days, legal departments at the world's biggest tech companies are likely working overtime on a daily basis. This week, the focus is on this home to Apple, Google, and Amazon with two bills slated to be considered by the Senate Judiciary Committee. These two proposals are the American Innovation and Choice Online Act and the Open App Markets Act. Will focus on preferential treatment to indigenous products and the monopoly of app stores. In this story, we'll break down both these bills and their impact on companies and consumers. This bill was first introduced in the Senate last October with an aim to prevent companies from favoring their own products on their platforms. ITLO primarily affect companies like Apple and Google as they place their own apps alongside third-party apps on their app stores and in search results. ITLL also question Amazon, which sells private label goods on its platform that compete with other sellers. The act says companies should allow competing businesses the same access to features and operating systems as the platform's own apps. For example, Spotify should have the same access to system-level features as Apple Music on iOS and YouTube Music on Android. It notes platform owners should also let you remove their pre-installed apps from your devices. That means you should always have the option to remove Gmail from your Android phone or Apple's Mail app from your iPhone. This way, consumers have more choice when looking for a product or service. And third parties on a platform are on a more level playing field when it comes to becoming your preferred option for streaming music, searching the web, or shopping online. The bill also prohibits these firms from taking advantage of non-public data to boost their own products or making their own products more prominently visible in front of customers. In the past, Yelp and TripAdvisor have complained about Google boosting maps or their products on search. Amazon has also been accused of toying with search results to give its own brands an advantage. In 2020, firms like Epic Games, Spotify, Match Group, and Proton Mail teamed up to form a collation and protest against Google's and Apple's anti-competitive app store practices. Last night, a group of companies, including Basecamp, DuckDuckGo, Genius, Quora, and SONOS, wrote a letter to the committee to support the bill. You can read the full text of the bill here. While the previous act focused on preferential treatment on all goods, this one focuses solely on mobile app store monopoly, i.e., Apple and Google's domination on their respective platforms. If you're using an iPhone or an iPad, you have to download all your apps from the app store. If you're using an Android phone, you're allowed to sideload apps or get them from other app stores on your device, but Google will show you a ton of security warnings when you do that. That means it's not easy for other companies to build a business around app stores to offer alternatives to these giant marketplaces, both of which take large cuts out of app. EV, Elopar's revenue. There's also an argument about Apple and Google charging high fees from developers for in-app purchases. Many countries across the world have already forced these companies to allow third-party payment systems so they don't have to pay platforms between 15% to 30% of their revenue for in-app purchases and subscriptions. The bill proposes these companies lift the aforementioned restrictions on their platforms and allow users to download third-party app stores even set them as default sources. Plus, it wants platforms to clearly mark ads that promote their own apps. The idea is that you should be able to download an app from any app store, not just Google's or Apple's. Plus, developers can offer discounts or different prices for digital goods on these alternative sources. You can read the full text of the bill here. These bills have drawn similar responses from Apple and Google, and they both focus on maintaining user privacy. In a letter written to the Senate Justice Committee, the iPhone maker said, the bills put consumers in harm's way because of the real risk of privacy and security breaches. It bashes these bills by saying they will give more power to bad actors. The firm has vehemently discouraged side loading to avoid security incidents. It even published a white paper to highlight how app store protections keep users safe against malware and phishing campaigns. Google also published a long blog post listing several negative consequences of these bills such as harming us technological leadership and disregarding user privacy. It tried to deflect the topic of discussion by saying regulators should focus on issues like privacy and children's safety. Both companies have tried hard to make the future look like doomsday if these bills are passed. 
however, shares some hyperbole in their communication, and critics are not holding back to point that out. Apple and Google are not the only companies under the antitrust scanner in the ASOS. Media is facing numerous investigations, including the latest a spill aimed at banning targeted online ads. Microsoft might also come under the radar with its Activision Blizzard acquisition. It feels like the beginning of a new antitrust season.